Hey there Pisces, welcome to your September general reading. Um, I'm gonna do something a little new this month. Uh, my schedule has changed dramatically, so I'm going to try to put out as many videos as possible, just in a shorter length. I am also splitting up the general and the love reading. So this will be your general career and finance. I know so many of you have requested that I do career and finance as well, and so that's what I will be focusing on in this reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising signs, okay? If you are my fellow subscribers that have been with me since day one, I absolutely love you guys. Thank you guys so so much for those of you that sent me birthday wishes and you know gifts I absolutely appreciate you guys I know I've been a little bit MIA but I appreciate you guys reaching out even though you know my I've got my hands full with my scheduling right now so this will be a general reading and I will be uh, focusing on your general energies for the month of September 2019 if you believe this is the time for you the messages that were coming in for me while I was shuffling was that I feel as though some of you are kind of teetering within different decisions on changes what to make who to choose I feel that so many of you are at a crossroads in your life regardless of what it may be relationship partnership business when I said business the abundance card came through so some of you maybe you know dealing and I'm feeling a two of pentacles is what I'm seeing in my mind uh, you're just not sure if you should just you know bite the bullet on a specific business venture creative new endeavor I'm hearing some of you aren't really working in the field you should be working in and it's almost as though you're afraid to leave your like part-time job and I don't even want to call it a part-time job it's just like a god I hope I don't offend or insult anyone but it's really just not what you're meant to do you have a passion for something in particular but you're not working in that field and for whatever reason you're almost nervous and have a little bit of doubt about doing it about jumping in about switching careers I'm hearing that you are certified or trained or qualified for it, but for whatever reason, you're not really putting yourself out there in that particular field, whatever your specialty may be. I feel that as though as much as you like it, it's almost as though you're afraid of by the time I get the job or I you know, switch careers, I'm going to hate it. I'm going to be overworking myself and then suddenly I won't like it anymore. There's a little bit of fear in that. So I'm also, you know, I'm hearing something about starting off as entry level won't compare to what you're getting right now. You're comfortable with the money you're making now and you're afraid of going backwards. Even though if you think about it, Pisces, moving into a field that you are passionate about, that you love, isn't going backwards. Perhaps in the beginning, financially, it may feel that way because you may have to start at the bottom or on a lower level in terms of, you know, not having the experience that other people might that you may be competing with. But what I'm feeling for you is that the more you put off the career change or you know the business shift of it all the harder it will be down the road to get into that field and the further behind you'll be and then you're gonna live with this oh my god why didn't I do it this is a little bit of a regret of I should have just done it when I was thinking about it six months ago you know a year ago and some of you I feel that you're already at that point like oh my god I'm seeing people already in that field making more money than what I'm making now why didn't I jump in when I was fresh out of training fresh out of certification fresh out of school it is never too late to start Pisces friends so let's see what's going on for your general energies career and finance as well and I also want to say if this turns into a love reading or it has love messages take that as it may I will keep it as career and finance focus as possible I'm also going to try and keep these under 30 minutes I'm shooting for 20 minutes so that I can move on to your love life reading and have them completely separate okay 
So Pisces, Sun, Moon, rising signs for September 2019. What do they have going on in their career, finance, their money, situation, their abundance? What's going on? Let me have overall energies. Give me a minute. That flew out. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I am going to pull one more. I did already do Virgos. Oh, also remember that. Check out your moon and rising and Venus signs for your general and love readings. There is a link in the description box below so that you can get your free natal chart and figure out, you know, your other signs and, you know, get a almost personal reading basically. Once you look at your other videos, your other aspects, if you're new to me, welcome. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you stick around. I hope this resonates and you give it a thumbs up. And so here we go within the next few months, which I don't remember if Virgo got that one or if it was within the next few weeks. I wanna say it was within the next few weeks. Now the reason why I waited on turning this over was because it is the big fat no, no. But what I'm feeling is no, stop lagging. No, get yourself out of that funk, get yourself out of that rut. Stop holding yourself back, stop blocking yourself. No, don't stay in your comfort zone because I'm hearing an offer or an opportunity will come in within the next few months. And I'm getting this sense of by winter time, by, you know, the holidays, you're going to be all wrapped up in your current job, but you'll also have an opportunity to move into and be ready to start that career or whatever it is that you're looking into. However, come holiday time, what happens? We get stressed out, we get bogged down, we're running around doing Christmas shopping. If you're working retail, you, you know, you've got craziness going on galore. And then you're not in your right mind where you can actually feel confident and balanced and secure and ready to apply for a new job because you're so stressed out and overworked and I'm calling it right now. So if you're in that position in the winter time around the holidays, think of this video because I'm seeing you just completely stressed out thinking I am in no position to apply for this job to go to an interview I've got to hurry up and do this and do that and the holidays are around the corner there's a storm coming in whatever it might be I'm hearing excuse after excuse after excuse so no stop holding yourself back you have to be greater than your excuses I'm sorry if that may be calling a few people out. <laughs> so let's clarify within the next few months for Pisces general career and finance for September 2019. King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius, King of Swords in reverse, Aquarius Libra Gemini. Nine of Cups. Strength card. I'm not taking them, but I will show them to you because they are majors, major majors. Beginning with the Five of Wands, obviously not getting along, being conflicted, whether you're conflicted within yourself or just conflicted, and I wanna say in the home. I definitely feel as though some of you may be having some issues at home, not getting along, not... I feel like everyone is mad at each other at home for whatever reason. You got a Virgo here, you got a Leo here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this is Scorpio. And well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, I feel like you want to move out of your home. You want to, you know, live your own life. You want to move into your own place, start something new, but you feel stuck. And 
every time you take a pause to reflect and think about what your next step is, things get worse at home and then you're just sitting there like Depressionville, wondering when is my happily ever after, but you're sulking, right? And you're sad and you're depressed and you're just like, I'm never gonna get out of this. So the conflict can be with other people in the home or it can be within yourself, not getting along with other people or the fact that you're just not in a place that you're saying to yourself. Some of you are in a place to be able to do so, but you're in a place where you can't move. You've got, wow, another, another manger, the judgment card. King of Pentacles. Hello, Pisces. You got a lot of men here. The Empress just peeked through. This could be, you know, people that you work with, people that are your friends, mentors, Page of Cups, offers coming in. I'm telling you, you're going to have an opportunity within the next few months to shift careers. I'm telling you, shift careers, new opportunities, new jobs, new opportunities for, you know, whatever it is that you are passionate about. Starting something new, a new business. Oh my God, hello. Channeled messages affirmed, right? So you've got a lot of people here that are by your side. However, you are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, an air sign, who is and can be quite, I'm gonna use the word squirmy. They're clearly manipulating every situation, every chance they get to make you feel bad about something. Like, why haven't you gotten a job? Why haven't you moved out? Why haven't you this? Why haven't you that? And then the minute that you finally feel good enough to do it where you're like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to move into it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then they make you feel bad. I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're doing that. And like, how could you even think of doing that? Wow. You're dealing with someone who victim mentality. And it's like they come at you like you really should be doing what makes you happy. They make you feel bad while pretending to build you up. And that takes a whole lot of strength out of you. It's wearing you down. Where I feel like you have to play nice and be like, there, there, calm the fuck down. I know what you're doing. I'm well aware of what you're doing. I'm trying to keep my peace here. I'm trying not to lose my shit so that I can start all over again and finally move out, move on, start the career that I want and bring in the money that I freaking want for myself because, you know, King of Pentacles, Midas touch. Whatever he touches turns into gold. You're waiting for that offer that I'm telling you it is coming in within the next few months. You have this opportunity that's going to come in for you. Do not let this air sign or someone with those air sign qualities of how I just described them. It can also be an Aries Leo Sagittarius because, you know, you've got them here back to back. I feel as though you may have someone who is a lot more passionate about you, like supporting you about doing this about shifting gears, about moving out on your own, about jumping ship into something that you love. They don't want to see you hold yourself back. They want to see you happy. And just when you start feeling good enough to, hey, make that judgment call and make the life that you want for yourself. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to start putting my resume out there. I'm going to start applying to places. I'm going to start looking into person, places, things, something that will make me happy, but then you go back because you have this person within close proximity that requires a lot of attention, a lot of energy out of you. It's draining you. Stay focused. Stay very, very focused and clear about what you want financially, career-wise, home-wise. I'm going to clarify that no card a little bit more. A 
let's start with that King of Swords in reverse. I also feel that maybe you're dealing with um, someone with very strong masculine qualities. I mean, it doesn't have to be male, although you do have nothing but men here. And I feel that you are that strength card, especially if you have Leo in your chart. So you may be having siblings, you know, the parentals, right? Father, uncle, grandfather, brothers, best friends, people. These are male figures in your life or people that have a lot of masculine qualities to them. You could also be dealing with someone who's a little bipolar. However, I do like that the Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands here is just confirming you've got new offers, brand new offers, new opportunities, new beginnings, good news for something that you absolutely love. So this is someone within your community. Within your community, meaning within your home, this is someone within close proximity. It's, that, didn't I just say that like a minute ago? So within your family, within your job, like maybe this is someone you work with that is guilting you, like saying, yeah, you know, why are you working here? You shouldn't be working here. You have a degree, you have certification, you should go get a job somewhere else. And then it's like, it gets closer to the holidays. I'm like, oh yeah, you're gonna leave us just before the Christmas rush. Or, oh yeah, you only think of yourself and you're just like, what the fuck? Really? Remember Pisces? Live your life for you. Don't worry about people pleasing. Do what makes you happy, whole, content. Oh my God, really? What did I just say? You've got new opportunities for money, career, change. I'm telling you, this is unexpected income. You're talking yourself out of it. Someone is guilting you or you are blocking yourself. But within the next few months, this opportunity for new beginnings comes in. And it's going to come in an unexpected way at an unexpected time. This is why I keep thinking and I keep hearing like around the holidays. I don't know why I just heard like you, you leave just in time before Black Friday for those of you working retail. It's like, oops, sorry, not sorry. But you definitely have unexpected income coming in, unexpected opportunities for a job. For some of you, I feel as though it was probably a place that you applied to long ago that you had no like hope of hearing from them any war, anymore because it's been months. And then all of a sudden you hear from them and you're like, oh yeah, I did apply to you guys. Of course I'm interested. Of course I'll call in sick to get the job of my dreams. Okay. Let me have Spirit a card for the no, N-O exclamation. Wealthy man. Don't go for that hot rich guy. I don't know. He's got health issues. He can't. Okay. I just heard. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys. Okay. This is going to be very specific to someone here. Please don't be mad at me. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> someone here will have an opportunity to hook up, connect with a very wealthy man who wants to give you everything and then some. They want to give you the world. They want to give you a happy home, money, finance, everything and anything money can buy. Don't do it. Don't do it. They are not all there. They may be this manipulative air sign that comes into the picture. When I see bad health, I don't necessarily mean bedridden, this is someone that will want to abuse you and take care of you because it's like that mind fuck. Like they got you supported. You're dependent on them. They're supporting you. They want to keep you like this privileged lady. And then, you know, they're buying you basically, but they're buying an opportunity to treat you like shit. 
This could be someone very, you know, bipolar, narcissistic. If you haven't met this person yet, they are coming in. That's not for everyone. I'm also feeling and hearing. So the bad health can be, you know, mental health, basically, sociopath, <laughs> narcissistic, depression, psycho. And some of you may allow it for a long period of time because, well, they've got you like a privileged lady. I'm also hearing this person may be impotent. They cannot get it up, honey. And they shower you with money. They shower you with gifts. But because they are in this situation, well, their own frustrations come out in a very negative way. They take it out on you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Obviously, that's not for everyone. That is very specific. If this has already happened to you, sounding familiar, drop a comment below, please. Or come back and drop a comment when it does happen for you. When that person comes in. So within the next few months, you will be receiving a message like I said, a message, job opportunity, career, finance. You get the loan approved. There are some concerns about this. Why? Because you have a negative Nelly, a negative naysayer. Because they want you to focus on a relationship with them or a different type of partnership. Oh my God. This person is the one that's blocking you. For some of you. So here it is. Let's pull Energy Oracle, Career and Finance, Pisces Career and Finance, September 2019. Oh my God, you guys really be on the lookout for this. Really, really be on the lookout for this. You know, the wonderful thing about a tarot reading is that it doesn't always have to come out the way you see it in the video. You have the, you have the power and the control to change the outcome. Take this as a warning. And I'm not saying be prepared for deceitful people, manipulative people where you start getting paranoid and start assuming that every person that comes into your life or every wealthy man, if you happen to come across many wealthy men or women, because some of you are dealing with this privileged lady. Some of you are the Pisces wealthy man and you find somebody who wants to be the privileged lady. There's a need for some strategy about how to get out of this partnership relationship. Be careful of signing contracts. Read it. I mean, top to bottom, fine print. If anything sounds fishy to you or like you don't agree with it, speak up. There may be some sort of deceptive energy there. Wow, you don't want to be left penniless, especially if you are the wealthy man. Because this is a person that you might come across that will take you for all your money. Or that may be you. You may find someone who appears to be very wealthy and it turns out they really don't have a whole lot left because they're too busy spoiling you rotten and... They may come across as though they've got this endless amount of cash, but it's going to run out sometime. Oh, uh, 
seriously, guys. Fair warning. Don't fall for this person. Right? Don't fall for this person. King of Swords in reverse. This is a very cold hearted, deceptive person. They don't, they can tell you they love you and then like backstab you in a heartbeat and not give a shit about it. You need to stand your ground. Look at this. They might appear calm to you. But look at that. Look at that. And he came out in reverse. Right? He knows how to use that sword. So be very, very careful. Oh my goodness. Let me pull some Angels of Abundance card because I'm not liking this energy, Pisces. Career and finance for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Have an abundance mindset, right? If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Stay positive. Face your financial fears. If you are the one that's the wealthy one, if you are overspending on someone that's just obviously there just for your money, or some of you decide to deal with this abusive behavior because you are fearful of not having enough money and you feel this person can provide you with everything that you need and you will no longer be fearful of your financial worries. So release jealousy. That is a negative affirmation. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Clean energy food. Some of you need to change your diets, eat clean, Get very, very clear and clean and holistic. Do some exercising, some meditation, eat clean because that's fueling your body, your mind, your heart, your soul. You feel better, you run better, right? And, I, and by running, I mean, you know, like we all run like a well-oiled machine when we're eating healthy. So when you find your body with a, when you fit, fuel your body with a helpful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and higher vibration, which attracts gold and opportunities and beneficial relationships. Better relationships as opposed to, you know, this deceptive, manipulative energy. Messages from your fairies for September 2019, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Career and finance, please. What do they need to know before we close out this reading? Be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis of for your personal power. When you are you, you cannot let someone who's got this negative energy, manipulative energy, just break you down. Know your worth. Your self-love, self-worth, self-care. Take care of yourself. Put your foot down when you need to. Don't let anybody treat you like shit. Oh, some of you have a daughter or will be soon or you are the daughter of someone important. The answer to your question involves your daughter. Now, I also want to say those of you that don't have children, this could be a daughter that is your guardian angel that was from another lifetime, but they... I want to say it's like they hover around you waiting to be born to come back into your life in this lifetime you've got the power another card about personal power use your abilities to resolve the situation you can do it so fair warning use your abilities to resolve the situation no how to recognize these type of manipulative energies these type of people 
stop yourself before you get in too deep with people like this. Pisces, this was your career and finance and general energies reading for September 2019. I hope it resonated. If you are new to me, please double click that bell so that you get notified of when your next reading comes around. I'm working on your love life reading next. This has been your general career and finance reading for September 2019. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful month. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.